Greetings everyone, I bid you welcome to this channel, the forthcoming of the Void Star. I am Fagos Anwar Hoshikaoka and I know I have been I have been absent for the past three months and I have not, you know, it's not because I have been slacking it, it is because I was busy with doing certain projects that actually demanded the priority phase for me. So this is what I have been doing the past three months and right now, today, I saw the opportunity to shoot another video for you guys. And that is also a little bit because I have been talking to someone this week and he was talking about why he ended up on the same point where he has ever been. And it was because he was been initiating things, he made a set of goals, he fixed that and but he got distracted and he noticed that he was back at square one. Again, and again, and again, and I can say everyone has been going through this kind of experience. So this is what I want to discuss today. I have been talking with this man for a while, and after a while, I noticed that he had been fallen victim to something what we call false purposes. And I must say, everyone experiences that. It's something that I have to admit as well, you know, no one escapes it. But how can we really recognize them? Because this is something what leads us astray. And as the ones who are following this channel for some while, they know by now that Left Hand Path is about self-transformation and about, well, some of us are in demonic integration to make ourselves a better person, I would say. To make a whole long story short, this is what it's about. And the better you become, in being a better person, the better your world will become. So it is a lot about taking responsibility over yourself, over your actions and the whole line that enhances it. So false purposes, what are they? How can they be recognized? What can we do in order to avoid them? And I can say one thing, and that is that to knowing your true purpose is something what will reveal itself when you grow closer to your own natural true self. And mostly when people don't know their purpose, their, their what they love to do in life or spending their time in such a way that they actually would get more energy from it, that it would make you into a sovereign, I would say. And most of it is because certain things are being drummed out of us in our childhood. I have dedicated a whole video about that. I am not going to discuss it now, but I have made a video called um, Nihilism, the Black Flame and the Three Veils of Nihilus. And this is something that you can check out if you really have the feeling like, hey, there's something obstructing me in life and I don't know what it is, but I'm sure that it has been something from my past. So. What I can say is that this whole false purpose thing and falling prey to it comes from a conditioning and from slacking it. The first thing in which you can recognize a false purpose is that, you know, it's, it's funny because everyone, everyone is just jumping out of the chair and saying, money is a false purpose. I don't, no. I don't agree with that. I only agree with that in one condition, and I will come to that later, but you have to realize that money is a currency. It's a current, it flows. And if you consider that left hand path initiation is all about self-transformation and making your world better, the end goal is to give something back. When a person goes after the money, I hear a lot of people say, ah, you know, he's just, you know, he's a vulture, he goes after the money, that's his purpose. But I think you, you really have to realize why certain people go after the money. And in most cases, it is because people want more creative freedom. They want freedom to create, and they want to create things in order to get more freedom. It's interlaced. So this is why a lot of people are after the money. It will grant you more freedom. So I don't think that money per se is a false purpose. The only risk what exists herein is that money does become a purpose for the money itself. But then 
something is happening to you that will set you off. It will lead you astray and you will become lost because automatically interlaced in that is that there is this hyper belief and this hyper belief that they have to, you know, the success and money is in there. You know, they go after the status and there's nothing wrong with status per se. I have dedicated a video on that too, because when you are at the bottom of the hierarchy, then you are going to feel overwhelmed by everything. So this whole status thing is not necessarily a bad thing. It is only a bad thing when it motivates you in such a way that you go after the money and success. And that results in a short term kind of thinking. And you go after a trend because you think that the money is in there. Well, I can guarantee you, you are going to lose yourself at some point in your life because it has nothing to do with getting better. It's just getting something out of it, you know, to fill up a hole or an empty space. And that is certainly not the way. And that is not what left hand path initiation is about. I think that money is a very important ingredient and tool. You know, if it gives you the freedom to gain experience, which is going to transform you as a person, or it opens the way to creating more skills and assets, then I think go for it. You know, then you have to use this money as a tool. And then I don't think it's a false purpose at all. So a false purpose is too in the fact that things are too easy, they're cheap, um, it's popular, and it often comes from external sources. Meaning by that is that you are motivated by your family. Your family says this and that and that, and your friends say that, and you want to belong to it because it works very deeply into your reptilian brain and your tribal instinct and everything. And then at a certain moment, you think like, I have been doing everything what everyone else says, and I come to the conclusion that I did not want any of this at all, and I have been wasting my time to you guys. So that is also a false purpose. And I would say if it does not sharpen your skill or it sharpens your mind and it does not shape your body, one of those three, and perhaps all three together, then it is most likely a false purpose. It should enhance something, but it enhances your left hand in initiation. That is for us, for those who are on the left hand path or following this dark lordship that is very important and what I also see is that people you know who want to gain success and money they have this hyper intention and they don't think of it that let me explain first what hyper intention is um I can best explain it by taking the example of sleep say you want to go to sleep you have to, you have to get up early tomorrow it's a busy day you have to sleep and you're thinking all the time I have to sleep to sleep, fall asleep. Oh, please fall asleep. You're hitting your pillow. And you're, ah, I have to go to sleep. And you can't sleep. And the more you say that to yourself, the more awake you become. That is hyper intention. The same goes for people who are handling money as a purpose. They don't realize that those who become truly successful and gain money is because they were following a purpose or a goal or their heart's desire and money and success was not even really in their scope, in their perspective. It was something what came along with it. I would say if you have a good feel or you are in touch with your demonic self, things are going to manifest on an earthly plane. And that has to do with true will and following your true purpose. And if you don't know what it is, go back to your childhood. See what you love doing and then find something that is connected, closely connected to that. And then you will see that things will start to roll in there because nothing will be standing in your way then. Yeah, people will because people lose control over you. <laughs> I can dedicate all the pistol on that, but that's a story for another time. So what is also a trait of a false purpose is causes and cults. It works on your emotion. Um, the first trait on that is that it does not hang around for very long. It's a hyper belief and it's mostly about their emotional, negative emotional discharge. 
of feelings, of frustrations. They want to change something. They're angry about something. Uh, it's all very extreme. Um, it's no, not clear what they desire or how they are going to manifest it. So, you know, it works on your tribal instinct. And if you ever have been attending a, a football match or a, a concert, you see how fast, how quick it is that you are going to be intoxicated by this whole group thing. And it's a mass hypnosis kind of thing. And that is also why the Dark Lords kept their princesses away from the masses, because they know how fast they are going to be influenced by this group think kind of thing and that they don't think nuanced anymore and it's all becoming irrational and the emotions are you know they are flourishing up and it grabs you and it takes you by the hand and that is also what happened with for instance if you saw a speech from hitler that's exactly what is happening so that's this cult and causes kind of thing that you really have to watch out for also connected to a false purpose is doing things in the pursuit of pleasure. And, you know, we all have to go to work. And we have to work in order to generate an income. And if you are forced to do something which you don't like, then you are going to be dead tired at the end of the day. And, well, you are going to pursue pleasure like alcohol or drugs or sex or prostitution or anything like that, you know, in order to escape this dull, long dreaded hag of a reality. And it only saps the energy away from you. You know, it's just mindless leisure and entertainment, but you don't get anything back for it. Not something in recognition or appreciation or... No, you're just, you know, and you, of course you have to enjoy yourselves, especially when you are having a vacation. You, you have to recharge. We get that all. And, you know, if you are never recharging, then you don't know how quick it is that you are going to be exhausted. So it's necessary, but you really have to keep an eye on that. What is also a false purpose is cynicism. And I really have to focus and attend to that one because I hear a lot of people say... Um, you know, it's closely connected to nihilism. It's not worth being involved in. And it's meaningless and all is relative and it's, you know, empty. And well, actually what it is, is that it is a lazy excuse for not doing something with your life. You know, I know people with story, I think, okay, that's credible, you know, but then they are still doing things for themselves. But, you know, just to say that things are meaningless, it's the opposite of the left hand path initiation. It is the opposite of being a black magician. It's the opposite of finding your own godhood, you know, godhood, all good things, they come slowly and they take effort and everything and all. So people are sometimes cynical because they don't see the use of things anymore and everyone has that moment and again i will revert back to that to that video of nihilism and the black flame and the three wheels of nihilus really watch that one because a lot of them will become clear i cannot cover that in this video but a lot of that will become clear so these are the types of things you will recognize when it comes to false purposes and how you can avoid them and you know if you recognize them then you are a long way already and you can say like okay you know i recognize this i know it is connected to something what i call irrationality and short-sightedness and narrow-mindedness in that sense so when you recognize it you are already turning around for a greater part so this was it for tonight i hope it has been helpful if you have any comments or questions, then drop them down below. If you are interesting, interested in reading my book, the link is also below in the comment section. You only have to press it and it will lead you right to the Kindle edition. And I hope you have a very good night. Till next time.